Now, an interesting thing happens when a light source that's moving relative to a detector is detected through a prism. We'll still see the colors and the Fraunhofer patterns, but the patterns will be shifted towards the violet or red. The amount it's shifted will depend on how fast the light is moving towards or away from us, respectively. This is called redshift. It's similar to the way the sound of a car horn changes as the car drives past you. So since everything in the universe is moving relative to something else, we can look at light coming from stars in the Andromeda galaxy and determine if it's moving towards or away from us by detecting shifts in the Fraunhofer lines. We're almost there. Now, if we start from the center of the Andromeda galaxy and start measuring the redshift as we move towards the edge of the galaxy, we end up with what's known as a rotation curve. We then do the same thing from the center but move to the opposite edge. We then take the absolute average of the two rotation curves. Now what we have is the average rates at which parts of the galaxy are moving towards or away from us. If we know how wide the Andromeda galaxy is, which we do, then we can figure out how long it takes for parts of the galaxy to go around once. We can then take the average to determine how long it takes on average for the galaxy to go around once. This may not be as useful though since galaxies, and solar systems for that matter, don't rotate as one solid piece.